Namaste. Welcome to a grounding meditation series, of which this is the second video. There are a number of grounding practices I plan to share with you, which I will do so over time. These videos are a combination of information sharing, meditation practices, and practical applications. As mentioned in the first video, standing or walking barefoot in nature, referred to as earthing, is an extremely beneficial practice for grounding. I personally am a big fan of it and practice it very often. We are bioelectric living beings. The human body is a liquid, crystalline semiconductor. The moment your foot touches the earth, your physiology changes. An immediate normalization begins, and an anti-inflammatory switch is turned on. The theory is that earthing allows a transfer of negatively charged electrons from the earth's surface into the body. These electrons neutralize positively charged free radicals that cause chronic inflammation. An excess of free radicals damages our cell membranes and DNA and leads to cancer and other diseases. Because earthing has shown to reduce blood thickness and inflammation, it also has the potential to support cardiovascular health. Most of us have an overactive sympathetic nervous system, partly caused by excessive emotional stress. Studies have shown that earthing has a calming and balancing effect on the nervous system. And so earthing is the easiest and most profound lifestyle change anyone can make. Grounding happens naturally without effort when any part of your physical body is in direct contact with the Earth's surface. Think swimming in the ocean, walking barefoot on the grass, gardening with hands in the dirt, hugging a live tree, etc. Therefore, grounding is a natural process that occurs when you spend time in nature and aren't inhibiting the process by wearing insulating materials like rubber shoes, which create a barrier to the exchanging of electrons. It turns out the Earth also has an energetic anatomy consistent with our own. Energy centers, energy channels, magnetic fields emanate from the Earth. The electromagnetic field of the Earth and the human heart resemble each other. The Earth is like a massive battery that's replenished by solar radiation, lightning, and heat from its molten core. It gets recharged every minute by thousands of lightning strikes somewhere in the world. So in the most simplistic of practices, grounding exercises to connect us to the earth are straightforward. Just take off your shoes and socks and get outside. Stand in the earth, grass, stone, sand or dirt, whatever works best. You can stand in one place, walk and lay down. You can also roll around like a cat or dog. Try getting dirty and rolling around in the earth. You'll understand why animals do it. It feels good. Swimming in a large body of water is another way to consume mass amounts of positive earth energy. Gardening is also a great opportunity to ground, in addition to eating organic garden vegetables. Remember, the earth knows what you need to be healed. All you need to do is surrender to, to let the process happen. So I'd like to share with you now a grounding meditation in standing position. Ideally, you can do this meditation barefoot with direct contact with the earth. If, in your, if you're in your room, no worries. Next time, you may do it in contact with the earth. So, if you can please stand up, I invite you then to close your eyes. Start with taking a deep breath in. And breathe out. One more time, breathe in, and breathe out. Imagine you're a strong, mature, well-rooted tree. Pick a tree species you like, such as a redwood, willow, or oak tree. Visualize yourself as a healthy tree a wise, sentient being alongside a vibrant network of other trees. With focused attention, move your awareness to locate the soft bottoms of your feet. Imagine creating openings on the bottom of both feet. 
Next, visualize roots leaving your feet, penetrating the ground beneath you. Enhance the process by visualizing these roots penetrate the earth's layers until you reach the earth's pulsing, vibrant core. When you're ready, transition to absorbing the earth's pure energy through the bottom of your feet. Begin to intentionally direct the pathway in which the energy travels throughout your body. Go at a pace that feels comfortable. You may or may not feel sensations during grounding, as sensations does not indicate effectiveness. Depending on your level of experience with grounding, the energy may move slowly at first. With time and practice, you will likely be able to quickly generate a swift current of Earth's energy sweeping through your body. Now move energy from your feet up through your legs, ensuring passage through your knees and up to the hips. Next, fill your core, sending energy down your arms, cycling back up through your neck, filling your entire head. Now send the earth's vibrant energy shooting out from the top of your head creating a 3D shower around your entire body. Allow the Earth's energy to rain over you and be recycled back into the Earth, creating a flow. Let's stay with this visualization practice for a few more moments. Moving the energy through your body to the center of the Earth, up again, shooting out to the top of your head, creating a 3D shower around your body and back into your body. One more time while continuing to breathe, moving the energy through your body to the center of the earth. Shooting out to the top of your head, creating a 3D shower around your body and back into your body. Place your hands on your heart. Direct your awareness to the, ex to the expansion of your chest as you breathe. Continue to breathe until you can strongly sense your heart space. And when you're ready, you may open your eyes. Thank you for joining me in this grounding meditation. With all this feeling that remains of the day, Cocoa Bread, I wish you a pleasant rejuvenating sleep. Do join me in our other sessions and feel free to share your experience in the comments below. We look forward to hearing from you.